Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. So you may notice that my voice is a little bit different and that's because I have ha what was I gonna say? I have lost my voice for five days. My voice has been gone. And actually right now it's doing pretty well because for the past three days, it's really hard to understand what I'm saying because my voice goes in and out so many times. And at first I thought it was just like, you know, a casual cold or something like that. I ended up going to the urgent care today and guess what? It's laryngitis. Right when I need to film a ton of videos. This is literally perfect timing. God could not have picked a better time for me to get laryngitis. That was sarcasm, God. Give me my voice back. And yeah, I was on vocal rest, but after figuring out it was laryngitis and the doctor telling me that, yeah, there's really nothing you can do. You just kind of have to wait it out. I'm like, girl, I do not have time to wait it out. I have content to film, things to do, shit to check off my to-do list. I just decided I'm gonna film because I'm five days behind. <laughs> I am so excited for this video because I have been prepping for this video a long ass time. I'm gonna be sharing with you the best sunscreens for this summer. These are all sunscreens that I have tried, I have fallen in love with, and ones that actually work. I think we are all educated people here. I don't think I need to explain why wearing sunscreen is important, but if you are new, wearing sunscreen is important. The end. Roll the credits. You gotta wear sunscreen every day and summer is really important because the sun is out. We tend to be outside more. We may be drinking a little more. And of course, it makes us forget to apply or reapply sunscreen, which is why it's really important that you use a good sunscreen. And I'm so proud of all these recommendations because they are high quality, good sunscreens that are actually enjoyable to use. Forget the thick white sunscreens that your mom used to make you wear when you went to the beach. Forget the intense white cast. These are all my favorite amazing high quality sunscreens that I am happy to recommend to you. If you've been in touch with the online skincare community at all, you will have seen the sunscreen world kind of explode. It's been a lot of drama after it was revealed that a bunch of our favorite sunscreens are actually not as effective as they claim to be. And because of that, we've all been pushed to find new sunscreens that are going to be effective. And I am proud to say that I've tested all of these. They all work amazingly well and all use tried and true sunscreen filters that we know and love to work very effectively. Let's just jump into it. As we start, I want to say all the products that are found in today's video will be linked in the description box below. If you do want to support me and my channel, I would really appreciate it if you shop from those links. I make a small commission that helps with my channel but no pressure whatsoever they're just there for you guys as always I never want you guys to feel pressured shop responsibly but they're just there as a resource for you so I'm gonna be organizing all of these sunscreens by skin type dry combination and oily and then I'm going to be rating all of these sunscreens on my white cast scale from one to three one leaving little to no white cast whatsoever and three leaving the most white cast and I will say all of these sunscreens are mineral sunscreens and mineral sunscreens sometimes do have the tendency to leave a white cast or gray cast I like to be be piggy about my white cast because I hate a sunscreen that has a white cast but at the same time I am someone with a more fair skin tone and if you do have a deeper skin tone you can go watch my videos with recommendations of sunscreens for deeper skin tones or you're more than welcome to use a chemical sunscreen but on this channel I like to recommend mineral sunscreens I've talked about why many many times you can go watch in my other videos let's just get into these sunscreens first up for dry skin we have the tried and true Biosance squalane mineral SPF 30 this one I've recommended for a long time it's actually my roommate's favorite sunscreen it's a very hydrating base and a more thick cream that easily spreads out onto the skin. Now, uh, oof, excuse me. Now when I first used this one, I was like, ooh, this looks like it's gonna be really intense for a white cast. But if you give it a little bit of a chance and work it into your skin, the white cast actually completely dissipates. And for this one, my roommate has a pretty dark skin tone. So the fact that he sees no white cast and that this is his favorite sunscreen, I think speaks a lot to the formula. I will say though, it's definitely one that I recommend for people with more dry skin because it is that heavier base. But a great one nonetheless is solely relies on zinc oxide. It's a non-irritating formula. It has squalane to really boost the moisture of the skin. And they actually just came out with their jumbo size product. It's a really big version of this one. I'll have it linked down below. In terms of a white cast rating, the sunscreen definitely is a one, although you do need to, like I said before, work it into your skin a little bit more. I will say for some of these sunscreens, you do need to, you know, make sure you're properly rubbing it in. I have seen some people with lighter skin tones apply this one or apply some of the others, brush it on their skin, barely rub it in and say that it has a white cast. And I'm like, 
you know, you're dealing with zinc oxide, which is a tricky ingredient to work with, and you do have to rub it in your skin a little bit more before you see the white cast completely dissipate. So I just want to recommend you do that. That way you don't have to struggle with the white cast for nothing. Up next is one from a brand that I love, the Kinship Self-Reflect Probiotic Sunscreen SPF 32. This one is awesome and definitely one I would say that is a bit more hydrating. I've recommended it for people with normal to dry skin in the past. It's a great formula. I've actually seen this used on people with very dark skin tones with no white cast. So it's another one that I recommend to just any skin tone. I would say this definitely has a white cast rating of one. It has a little bit of a tint to it as well. So if you want a very, very, very minimal tinted moisturizer experience, this one is a good one to have. I love this product. Again, it's only formulated with zinc oxide. I actually did a collection where I featured this sunscreen with Kinship that helped the oceans. If you want to get it, the link is in the description box below, but great one for people with dry skin. And then up next from Supergroup is the Mineral Sheer Screen SPF 30. Now this one, I hesitate to say I'm recommending it specifically for people with dry skin. I definitely think this is a sunscreen more for like normal skin that works for a variety of skin tones. I feel like this has a wide range, but I didn't really know where else to put it. This one is awesome because it's a solely zinc oxide based formula as well. You can find it at Sephora. Supergroup is a very popular sunscreen brand and some of their sunscreens I like, some of their sunscreens I don't like. They do use a lot of chemical sunscreens, but for mineral sunscreens, I actually love this one. It has great, really hydrating and nourishing ingredients. I'd say in terms of white cast rating, it's about a two. There is some white cast there and you do need to work it into the skin. I can't speak to how well it performs on people with the deepest skin tones because I don't know for this formula, but judging off of my personal experience, I would say it has a white cast rating of two where there is some white cast, but overall it's pretty easy to blend into the skin. It's a really great formula. And if you're at Sephora looking for a sunscreen, highly recommend getting this one. The next up we have sunscreens for combination skin. And I will start it with one that to my knowledge has not been removed from the market yet. <laughs> Korean sunscreen from a brand I love, but a mineral one, not a chemical one. The Rovectin Aqua Soothing UV Protector SPF 50. I love this sunscreen and like I said from what I can see it's still available for sale. It's a mineral sunscreen. One of the reasons I love this one is because the formula is very nourishing and hydrating but it feels lightweight on the skin and it does not feel heavy throughout the day and it's one of the few mineral SPF 50 formulas that I can really stand behind. In terms of mineral sunscreens it's a lot easier to find good SPF 30 formulas that don't leave a white cast but finding SPF 50 formulas that don't leave a white cast is it, it's tricky it's really really tricky and this one not only has a great formula it blends into the skin really well this is another one of those where you do have to work it into the skin a little bit more than your average sunscreen but once you do the white cast completely goes away and I would give this a white cast rating of one I really love the brand I think it's a great formula I've been through multiple bottles of this and one of the few SPF 50 formulas that I can really stand behind up next is a recent and unexpected find it is the Alba Botanica sensitive SPF 30 sunscreen sensitive mineral sunscreen 30 fragrance free I don't know what it's called it has a bunch of names on it <laughs> this one I actually found for sale I think it was like five dollars I saw that it was water resistant and fragrance free so I was like you know what I'll give it a shot who knows maybe I'll just use it for my body in case the white cast is really heavy I was impressed I was very impressed with this and ended up using it on my face a lot it has a really nice feel to the skin it does not feel heavy it actually feels pretty lightweight although I was expecting it to be a really thick heavy cream I was expecting the white cast on this to be severe to be really bad like honestly I mean I would say it's a one maybe just to play it safe like a 1.5 <laughs> but in my experience I haven't seen any white cast when using this it blends out pretty easily and nicely into the skin it doesn't feel heavy and it's a really good price point like I'm very impressed with how affordable this one is and you can find it at a lot of drugstores I think you can find this at Whole Foods you can find it at Target I think you can find it at Walmart CVS if I'm not wrong if you're looking for a really affordable sunscreen I would definitely recommend this one I've enjoyed the experience next is a sunscreen that was was my most used for a while. I absolutely loved it. I mean, I still love it and I'll probably get it back into it at some point. The Sunbum Mineral Tinted SPF 30. This one was completely unexpected. I think the first bottle I was sent and I really wasn't expecting much, but I decided to try it out and I ended up falling in love with it. And I think I've been through like four bottles of this awesome formula. If you're someone who wants like a tinted moisturizer type experience with a sunscreen where you get a little bit of color correctness to offset potential white cast and to give you a little bit of that like color corrective ability, this is definitely the one to go with. And the formula is very, it feels like a makeup primer in the sense that it helps to really just smooth over the skin and control oiliness. I'd say out of all the sunscreens, this one probably has the most satisfying experience to it and definitely has a good amount of tint, but I've always enjoyed my experience with this one. I tend to use a 
lot just to be extra careful because sometimes with tinted sunscreens I'm like you know what it wouldn't hurt to be a little bit generous just in case you never know. I'd say in terms of white cast if you don't have a deeper skin tone this would be a white cast rating of one because of that corrective tint but if you do have a deeper skin tone I would say it would be a white cast rating of two potentially three depending on what your skin tone is. I believe they do have darker shades of this that you can find as well so I'd recommend those if you do have a deeper skin tone but because this is more of like a tinted moisturizer experience I wouldn't say that this is accessible to every single skin tone out there. My only kind of downside for this one is that it's primarily titanium dioxide based and less zinc oxide based but for the results and the experience that you get with this one it's a nice one to use. Best of all it's really easy to find at stores. Up next is from a brand that I always include in my sunscreen videos because they have really figured out how to nail a sunscreen. MD Solar Sciences Mineral Cream SPF 50. This one truly truly impresses me. It's an SPF 50 formula first of all which is already really hard to get right but this one's a really nice balance of a nice experience that feels good to put on your skin and doesn't increase oiliness while also minimizing any white cast. I am truly impressed with how well this blends into the skin. It's a lightweight formula so it's easy to spread. I will say if you have a deeper skin tone you do want to like work it into your skin a little bit more but overall the white cast rating I would give this is definitely a one. MD Solar Sciences really has their shit figured out when it comes to sunscreens. I've recommended them many times and I feel like they're kind of underrated in my opinion. I don't know I really like their products. Not all their products though there are some products from them where I was like whoa this is not a good experience but this one's bomb. I love this one. And then finally we come to sunscreens for oily skin types. Now this ladies and gentlemen is where I was the most particular because I typically struggle with pretty oily skin. I mean my skin I'd say is combination but being that I'm in a humid environment it's basically oily skin so finding a good sunscreen that I can confidently reapply without having to worry about sweating out is really really difficult is really really difficult so I had to put sunscreens up to the ultimate test and I'm really proud of the ones that I'm including in this video because they're super super good first up is one that I have not been able to shut up about because it has been my obsession the bliss Blockstar SPF 30 I cannot sing enough praises to this product. I love it so much. It is the perfect balance of a good lightweight sunscreen that offers a little bit of a corrective tint to it to offset the white cast, but most impressive to me, it's mattifying. I rarely find a mineral sunscreen, if ever, that first doesn't leave your skin greasy, that doesn't leave your skin oily, but also controls the oiliness to give your face a more matte look. <sighs> That is literally what I always need because my skin gets so oily that even if I use really mattifying products, I will still build up so much sebum that it will look like I was purposefully trying to be glowy. And this one is awesome because while initially matte, my skin will have just this nice natural dewiness from the natural oil, but my skin won't be overproducing oil, so it'll look great all day long. And I love it because I can reapply it over and over and over again without having to worry about it feeling heavy, getting greasy, or causing issues on my skin. I think this is my fifth bottle that I've been through. I love it. In terms of white cast rating, I'd say for the majority of skin tones, this would definitely be a white cast rating of one. But if you do have an extra deep skin tone, this would be a white cast rating of two. And I would recommend some of the others in this video because this does have a slight tint to it. My biggest complaint for this one is that it does have lavender oil, which I'm not a fan of, but I'm being more open-minded to products that have a singular essential oil because at that percentage inclusion and with only one fragrant essential oil in a skincare routine that has no fragrance in it, the risk of irritation is so minuscule that it's kind of ridiculous for me to be like super defensive about it. And because I love the experience so much, I do justify it. But if you do have sensitivity to lavender oil, then it's probably best to avoid this product. Next are two sunscreens that are actually from the same brand that are honestly a tie to me. I can't decide between which one I like more and I'll explain why. It is the two new Dr. Dennis Gross mineral sunscreens. This one has only zinc oxide and this one has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. This one is SPF 50 and this one is SPF 30. So the first one I used was this one. I thought it was this one. Okay now I'm like confusing myself. I got this one per recommendation of my friend. She was like it's amazing. It's fragrance free. It only has zinc. After I purchased it I looked at the ingredient list and I was like oh not exactly true. While this doesn't have undisclosed fragrance, this does have a few essential oils. And I initially wasn't going to use it, but I was like, Hiram, you know, give it the old sniff test. If you don't know what the sniff test is, it's when a product has like one or two essential oils. And so I smell it to see how strong they are to determine whether or not I'm comfortable using it on my skin. These are the most recent sunscreen finds out of all the ones included in this video. And so I was like, oh, okay, I'm fine trying it. I have to say I am so impressed with how well this blends into the skin being that it is an SPF 50. It's it's really nice. I have to say it's one of those sunscreens that when you apply it you're like 
are you sure this is mineral? Because it just doesn't seem or feel like one. But at the same time, I was like, okay, you got the wrong one. Let's buy the right one and see how it is. And so I bought this one, which is the lightweight one with zinc oxide only SPF 30 and actually fragrance free. And I have to say this one is really good as well, but it takes a little bit more blending than this one into the skin to get rid of the white cast. But this one feels even more lightweight than this one, which they're already both pretty lightweight. Like the way they feel on my skin is pretty amazing. And girl, I had to check every store in my area to see when this one was going to be available because it's been sold out. And it's made it so difficult for me to choose which one I like more because this one has the higher SPF rating, blends into the skin really easily, but does technically have some essential oils. But then you have this one, which is totally fragrance free, SPF 30, zinc oxide, but super lightweight, but does take a little bit longer to blend into the skin. So I can't decide. <laughs> the one thing I will say is that both of these are fucking luxury sunscreens. So by no means do you need to buy these sunscreens. You can totally get the other ones I've recommended because I believe these are the most expensive sunscreens in this video but both of these formulas are amazing and I think they're a testament to how rapidly the sunscreen technology is developing in the USA because damn sunscreens have been rough for a while so I'm glad we're finally improving the next one is actually one that I can't find I went through my entire bottle and I think I recycled it and I don't know where it is now but it is the Paula's Choice Super Light Wrinkle Defense SPF 30 I did not expect to love this one as much as I did similar to the Bliss one it is like a tinted sunscreen experience however I did not expect how much I was going to love how well it wears throughout the day. It never felt greasy on the skin. It was always lightweight, has great ingredients, overall a really good one. And Paul's Choice is a brand that I really like. And they do have a lot of chemical sunscreen. So if you are looking for a good mineral one from them, that's great for oily skin, I would recommend this one. And similar to the Bliss sunscreen, a lot of people with lighter skin tones will find that this has a white cast rating of one. But if you do have a deeper skin tone, I would recommend one of the other ones that I've said because this is more of a tinted sunscreen experience rather than just a sheer mineral sunscreen. And then finally, we come to the last sunscreen, one that I also did not expect to include in this video, but I have to give it credit. It's a really good formula. The 11 by Venus Williams Unrivaled Sun Serum SPF 35. I have to give it to Venus Williams. This formula is really good. It's definitely luxury. Okay, I take back that these were the most expensive. I actually think this is the most expensive. It is a price point that is crazy. Like with the amount of sunscreen I go through, this is definitely a luxury purchase, but it is only zinc oxide. It's in a liquid formula that literally has zero white cast. It sinks into the skin so easily and so quickly, you're kind of wondering how it's even a sunscreen. The formula is incredible. It was specifically made by Venus Williams with people of color and black skin tones in mind while still using only zinc oxide which is incredible and I have to say it's a great formula if you are someone who has more oily skin that's looking for a lightweight almost invisible sunscreen experience definitely recommend this one but like I said because this one is a little bit more luxury you can totally purchase the other sunscreens that I've recommended in this video for a much lower price point oh my god that was a lot of sunscreen okay wow that sounded a little inappropriate <laughs> that moan was really loud too my assistant was probably like mm. that was a lot of sunscreen but like I said I wanted to come through with the recommendations to make sure that you guys have absolutely no excuse for protecting yourself this summer. Like I said, all the products that I recommended are in the description box below. And if you do want to support me, feel free to use those links. I would really appreciate it. But what do you guys think of these sunscreens? Have you used them before? Do you have any additional recommendations or sunscreens that you've fallen in love with? Please comment them down below. I would love to see your recommendations because I'm always on the lookout for brand new sunscreens that I can recommend. I sincerely hope you love these sunscreens as much as I do, but no matter what, whatever sunscreen you are using, just remember to always apply and reapply this sun. Like the popular quote I love, the best sunscreen is the sunscreen you will actually use. And regardless of whether it falls in line with my philosophy or not, just make sure you're using a sunscreen to protect your skin. That's all I care about. Thank you guys for watching and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.